Balancing your love for pizza with your love of actually fitting into clothes. That is a daily struggle. It's really hard. It's like, do I want that extra large pepperoni cheese sausage pizza from Domino's? Or do I want to fit into a size six skinny jean? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the pizza, again. And that's why I'm in a size 10. And there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever size you are, you're freaking beautiful. Eat that dang pizza and enjoy it and love yourself. Truth. But what's up guys? Thanks so much for coming back for another fun video. As always, don't forget to subscribe, be a part of the socially awkward family with our beautiful bodies and large pizzas, and give this video a like and a share. Why are my sleeves so far up? I do this every single time I wear sleeves. But anyways, today we are reacting to struggles that only us beautiful girls will ever understand. Part three. You can only see two fingers. I swear I had three, I can count. So yeah, comment below a struggle you deal with every day. For me, it's my bangs, they have a mind of their own, and I'm tired, so I don't have the energy to fix them. But yeah, I think we're ready, so let's do it. Heels or no heels on a first date? For me, no heels, ever. Especially on a first date, because then he expects it every single time, and then I'll just look like more trash on every other date. Because <laughs> I get more lazy. So, you gotta set the standards low, you know, t-shirt, jeans, flats, and then he doesn't expect any more, I think. Or that's why they never call me back. So you probably shouldn't take advice from me on dating. And I actually have to get a first date to even have this problem. Finding a pocketbook that isn't so big it makes your shoulder sore, but isn't so small that you can't fit the basics in it. That is so hard, because I don't want this big old grandma purse, but I need to fit my wallet, my phone, my brush, my chapstick, my pepper spray. You see what I'm saying. And a water. I like carrying around a water all the time, because I'm always thirsty. Stay hydrated. Having an ingrown hair. Yeah. Anywhere. I have had one of those in the most uncomfortable place you can think of. It's very unpleasant. So just be careful when you're shaving, legs, armpits, anywhere. If you go too fast or the blade's too old, then the hair is gonna get stuck under your skin and it's gonna get painful and just be careful. Be sure to properly moisturize any area before you shave it. And hopefully you will avoid this problem because it is not fun. The constant inner battle regarding the hair on your toes, to shave or not to shave. Yeah, it's like you're already down there shaving your legs and it's like, do I want to reach that extra inch to shave them? No, I don't. <laughs> it's just that little bit of extra effort. I'm like, I can't. I, I just can't. I don't know. I'm so lazy. So yeah, I have the toes of a Yeti. And that's okay. When you shave your legs, finally, and get goosebumps three minutes later, ruining the perfectly smooth legs you just worked so hard for. I hate when that happens. I get so mad. I'm like, really? I just spent 20 minutes trying to impress nobody, and now goosebumps. <laughs> I don't want to feel like sandpaper. It's not fair. The lady gods are just like, heh, no, you can't ever be perfect. Uh, she got her hair stuck in her seatbelt. That happens to me, and one time my hair got stuck in the door, in the window, and sometimes in the chairs at school, in those little screws on the back. That's a struggle for every girl, no matter how short or long your hair is. Like, let me be beautiful, why does there have to be pain associated with everything? Emotions. All the time. Yeah, I'm a very emotional person. I get mad just because I'm bored, and when I'm hungry, and tired, and happy. I'm just mad all the time. It's a nightmare. <laughs> It's a nightmare for anyone that associates with me. The cravings we experience once a month. Yeah, for me, that's not once a month. It's every day. I have a fat soul. <laughs> I have the soul of a thousand pound man who eats Boston Market every day, three times a day, and then washes it down with syrup. Not gonna lie, as a child, I love syrup so much, I would drink it when my mom wasn't home. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Wanting to be able to have a middle part, but realizing your hair will never allow it. Yeah, I try that, and then soon as I wash it, it's just gone. It does whatever it wants. It's like, no, we want to go that way. It's like, fine, you want to be the leaning tower of whatever the heck it's called? <laughs> go ahead. I just let my hair do whatever it wants now. Never being able to call yourself Beyonce. That is a daily disappointment. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I just be Beyonce? Beautiful talented, rich, loved. <laughs> it sucks. Only me. Wow. That is hard to do. That's never happened to me before because I barely wear heels anymore. Are your heels made out of metal? You're a superhero. Just kick it off, keep going, 
go back out on that date and tell him you're not interested. Because if you're hiding in the bathroom, you are looking for an excuse to get out. <laughs> Eyebrows. Yeah. My left one is always so nice when I do it. And then the right one is just like caterpillar. Hairy caterpillar. I can't have both just right. I can't be that beautiful. How to not look like an army of armless monkeys did your hair when it's humid. Yeah, I grew up in South Texas, and no matter how often I wanted to do my hair, I would spend so much time straightening it, and then put mousse and hairspray, and as soon as I step outside, pfft, fuzzball. So then I just gave up, and I looked like a rat's nest every day. Wishing tampons or pads were more discreet. Yeah, I used to care. I would hide it up my sleeve or in my pocket as I would go to the bathroom, and now I just don't care. I'm like, if a grown man has a problem with this, then he's never gonna have a wife. So I'm helping him train for his new girlfriend. <laughs> wanting to be a strong, independent woman, but also really wanting a partner to cuddle. It's like, yes, I can order my own McDonald's, but I want you to do it for me, and then hold me while I eat it, and tell me I'm still beautiful as I stuff a Big Mac in my mouth all at once. Looking effortless, even though you know it took you two hours to get ready in the morning. Yes, that is the look I go for every single day, because I give zero effort. So this is literally effortless. <laughs> it just doesn't look good. Doing enough squats to look like Kim Kardashian, but not enough squats to look like Nicki Minaj. What's wrong with Nicki Minaj? Is it? Doesn't she have a nice butt? I haven't looked at it lately, but doesn't she? I love squats, they make the booty pop. Being a certain size in one store and being a totally different size in another. Yeah, that really confuses me. And it really shows you which stores show you what kind of people they want shopping there. Like Abercrombie and Fitch, it was known that they only wanted skinny, beautiful people shopping at their store. So their sizes are a lot smaller. That's why you really shouldn't focus on the number. Because you could be an 8 in one store and that same exact measurement would be a 10 in another. So don't focus on the number, please. Focus on how you feel and if you're happy. Love yourself. The gap between your back and pants if your waist is small and your curves are kicking. Yeah, I don't have that problem. I got curves, and I got a waist, and a stomach, and everything. I got chicken wings in there. Spending an hour perfecting your curls only for them to fall 22 seconds later. Yeah, that's why I just stopped curling my hair. It falls immediately. I gave up, as you can tell. Finding the perfect head tilt for Snapchat. Yeah, I haven't been on Snapchat in years, <laughs> but that's me for Instagram. It's like, oh, I gotta get the perfect 93, 20 degrees. I don't know what the number is. I understand the struggle, but it got too hard, so now I just do the Netflix angle. You know what I mean? Like, mm. when Bay wants to FaceTime and you're wearing your retainer and other nighttime accessories, like, no, you should have called me an hour ago before I did my entire routine. Now I'm comfy watching Netflix, so no, you can't look at me right now. Being ladylike in general, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I do not care about being ladylike. I do what Sarah likes. I eat and sleep, that's about it. That's what I do. <laughs> Who's with me? Nobody? You actually have lives? That must be nice. And that's it for struggles that only girls will ever understand. <laughs> part three. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe, be part of the Socially Awkward family, and follow me on Instagram. Links are down below. And give this video a like and share. But yeah, that's it. So I will see you awesome people next time.